It is the 26th of the 8th, 2014, day number 1,264. This is your radioactive reality. Now, I brought out the dolphin sculpture I did a long time ago to uh, celebrate the tide pool project, which I'm trying to get going. Of course, I'll provide a link below. If you live on or near the coast, and uh, pretty much any coast around the world, let's just go ahead and take a look at everybody. Um, that would be, I think, a great idea for a YouTube community. And again, I will attach a link below if you want to find out what the Tide Pool Project is and uh, how you can help me out. I'm not asking for money. Let's get started. Any news? Unusual, troubling news about 1% of sockeye salmon coming from U.S. waters from Pacific. Normally 50 times higher. Lowest rate ever recorded. Had expected best numbers ever, scientist, quote, warm blob off the west coast may be to blame. Hmm, they're saying they changed their migration routes instead of disappeared. Uh, Chinook salmon numbers are also low. So again, here we go. Big mystery on the Pacific Ocean. Official wept at Prime Minister's office, quote, I'm sorry, we tried. But we are in a situation beyond our control at Fukushima. Hours later, people's blood ran cold. Huge hole suspected to have opened up in number two reactor. Now all this took place on the 14th of March 2011. Three and a half years later, the truth is still leaking out from those early days. We have been dealing with this every moment of every day. 1,264 and counting. Nuclear engineer studies show multiple fuel cores ejected from Fukushima reactors. No mention of MOX fuel, that's the plutonium laced uranium fuel rods where they took old dirty nuclear warheads, ground them up, add them in with uranium so they're 200 times more radioactive than normal fuel cells. Anyway, studies show multiple fuel cores ejected from Fukushima reactors. I thought so too. It was one of my big concerns. Radiation expert, hot particles of uranium and plutonium fuels detected nearly 300 miles away. Now we've had reports where it's gone into aerosol form, so it's gone into these little bitty buckyballs or these little bitty granules. So small they can float on a piece of dust carried up into the winds and around the northern hemisphere. Every moment of every day, we play the plutonium lottery. LA Times, horrific comedy at New York at US nuclear site. Mounds of radioactive white foam laced with plutonium. They're talking about whip here. Spewed out. Uh, government failed to do any radiation tests when release peaked after major leak. Experts quote, risk of additional eruptions is real. And there's a video attached to that. Of course, here we go with the round and round at the website. Radioactive white foam. U.S. official, there were orders not to get within 230 miles of Fukushima Daiichi. Potassium iodine given to all defense personnel and families within 200 miles of the plant. Over 1,100 kinds of radioactive materials detected. And again, this was in the early days. And the truth just keeps sneaking out, doesn't it? Don't worry, folks. They have everything completely under control. Scientists, massive spikes in radioactivity are being hidden from the public. Check this out. Radiation dose, doses around nuclear reactors increase exponentially it is a major worry, very, very important. Something must be done. And again, when they open up these nuclear reactors, we're talking every operating nuclear reactor in the planet, okay? And they say they release about, an, on average, about so much radiation every year as part of Operation Thing. Well, when they're reloading the fuel and they open up the containment and all these gases releases, for a one to two day period. The exposure limits can go from anywhere from 20 to 100 times. 
and the public isn't warned about it. And they don't really care about the weather when they do it. Very, very interesting read. If you live downwind from a nuclear power plant, be advised. You get spikes at least once a year when they load in the new fuel. Every time they pop that container, it gets out. They don't want to tell you that. The seriousness of the current situation of Fukushima can't be understated. Unma uh, unmitigated radiation is pouring into the Pacific Ocean. Has been and will continue to be for millennia and millennia. A millennia of millennia. They don't know how to stop the radioactive leaks. We'll never know how to stop this. How do you stop three full meltdowns on very, very, very large reactors? What, three times Chernobyl? Not to mention the MOX fuel that have burnt through containment down into the environment and that are leaching directly into the Pacific Ocean. And all we get is a circus because they can't really do anything about it. And nobody wants to accept liability for it. <sighs> Scientists holds pref co press conference in Tokyo. Urgent need to share new developments from Fukushima. Very, very striking results show radiation injury to whole ecosystem. Significant implications for Japan. And I've said this many times. Japan is now a huge radioactive tea bag leaking directly into the Pacific Ocean. And it's not just Fukushima. It's the rivers. It's the runoff. It's the open incinerator burning. The insanity continues. Time Magazine, Dr. Link's rec recent outbreaks of mysterious rashes to Fukushima. Cancer specialists. There's so much societal pressure to not even mention the word radiation. Nobody wants to hear it because too many jobs are dependent on it. It's all about the money. They're going to kill everybody for a few jobs. Huge number of cancers already. Government actively engaged in safety propaganda. They're going to blame everything but the nuclear industry. They have been for decades. Top U.S. nuclear officials visit Fukushima. Quote, the pain they've inflicted, innocent lives impacted forever. Children. Sick to my stomach as if I were in a science fiction movie. Quote, very sobering. We raise the standard of living for millions. Without us, heart surgery is impossible. And again, they're covering up this medical stuff. We're still dealing with Chernobyl, folks. Look into what's going on at Chernobyl right now. we got to put a sarcophagus over a sarcophagus over a sarcophagus over a sarcophagus. And this one's already decades behind and the old one's cracked. Oh yeah, nuclear energy's safe. Carbon free as they tear down mountains. And these monster trucks... Mm. How clean is nuclear energy? It's a crime against humanity, if you ask me personally. Shut them down. Shut every single one of them down. Scientists to use detectors deep underground to look for Fukushima fuel. It's believed to have cooled down. They believe it. But no one can check. Officials, we don't know if water is covering fuel at There's a river pouring on it. Water must be circling around the fuel or it will melt again. It's never stopped. Finally tonight, I'm going to take you over to Fukushima Diary. Uh, I'm going to mention one story off this site uh, just to drive a point home. Uh, if you don't know Fukushima Diary, um, I highly recommend you check this website out. Very informative. Keep you up to speed. Uh, Fukushima plant having discharged... 25,000 tons of bypass contaminated water contaminated groundwater didn't decrease 
So their big plan to pump it off to the side to help reduce the groundwater around these buildings, which are unstable, has failed. Just like everything else. Yay, Yakuza. Yay, budget cuts. Yay, homeless workers. Can you see the insanity in all this? Can you see the insanity? Well, that's about all I got for you today, of course. If I missed anything, please let me know. Attach your comments or videos below. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.